it's me summer um today i'm going to show you how to make some um corned beef and cabbage because it's almost st patrick's day and i love st patrick's day and um corned beef and cabbage is probably one of my most favorite things it was the first recipe that i ever learned how to cook um because my grandpa taught it to me and it's really simple and i'm going to show you how to make it in my pressure cooker I got my, this beautiful pressure cooker from my mom for Christmas, and that was the first thing I learned how to make in it was a corned beef and cabbage, because corned beef and cabbage usually takes three to four hours, and I can make it in about an hour, and my husband loves it, and I love it. Um, I'm doing this myself because Autumn doesn't love it, so um, I'm going to make it on a night when she's with her dad. Um, so I'm going to get that corned beef ready. And I'll be right back with All you. Alright, so when you get your corned beef, it comes in a package like this. And it's all red and goopy and gross. And I'm going to dump this out into my calendar. It's really gross. Um, and there's supposed to be a spice packet. So a spice packet like this comes in your corned beef. So you want to put this aside. I'm going to tell you that's not enough spice for me. Um, I know I've said it several times how much I love spices. Um, I'm going to um, rinse this corned beef off. Um, get the jelly substance off. And then I'm going to put it here. And I am going to cut um, all the fat off this that I can from the top. So um, this piece that I got actually does not... It does not have a lot of fat on it. So I looked out. I actually looked for a piece that had less fat. And um, so if you see here, I'm just cutting the fat piece off um, so that I don't have that fat whenever I cook the corned beef. Um, this is a three pound corned beef. I'll probably cut like a pound off. So it'll end up being a two pound corned beef. But that's okay because it's just uh, me and my husband eating it. So I'm going to cut this off and I'll be right back with you. Okay so now I have everything ready. Um, I sliced my corned beef um, pretty thin. There's still a little fat on because it's really hard to get the fat off. Um, and um, I'm going to put potatoes in here first. My husband really loves potatoes. I won't do potatoes myself um but i always make them for him so i dump those in first Oop, i missed one okay and um then i am going to cover these potatoes with some vegetable broth it's just um low sodium vegetable broth because there's lots of sodium already or salt in the brine in your um, corned beef. So I'm going to put some up on there. And then um, then I'm going to layer the corned beef. I'm going to get a fork so I don't get it. And um, so I'm going to um, pick up my corned beef. And I'm just going to put it around in here. Okay, so it's in my pot. Now, um, the corned beef came with this this baby little packet of spices. So it's a little bitty, and I'm just going to put some of that on there. So um, when I first started making uh, corned beef and cabbage, um, I always felt like I didn't have enough spices, and I didn't even wasn't even sure what was in this packet. So I was like, I, I want to look look for something so that I can make my own packet. And um, I found out that almost everything that's in there is in pickling spice. So I will then take some pickling spice and I will put that in there as well. Um, because I like extra flavor. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to do that. Um, and... I am also going to add some pepper 
and um, I can't get that open right now so I will do that when I'm done but then I'm go also then going to layer my cabbage I've cut them into chunks like this um, I'm gonna layer them on top of the corned beef like this so um, to make this without the um, the way I used to make it and you can make it like this too is to use a bag a cooking bag um, you can also steam it um, a corned beef I've seen them in a crock pot I wouldn't make it like this in a crock pot but um, you could make corned beef I used to make it in a bag with the seasoning and the extra seasoning and the potatoes and carrots um, my husband won't eat carrots and um, he doesn't like them so I won't put them in here um, then I would make the um, the cabbage in a vegetable broth instead of butter because then it's less fattening so um, I'm gonna do this and then I will pour some more vegetable broth over the top like this and some more spices to get that in the cabbage now I'm going to put this in here with, with the lid on and I'm going to lock it. Oh, I don't know if it's going to let me lock it. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it in. Well, I can't lock it with you, with me holding, with me holding you. So I can't lock it with me holding you. So I'm going to just show you here. Um, so my pressure cooker does a lot of. Uh, fun things while well, I would hit um, pressure cooker and I'm gonna hit it to um, I'm gonna cook this for 65 minutes so I'm gonna cook it for 65 minutes um, and make sure that the pressure knob is turned on pressure and then um, when it's done it will uh, let me know and then you want it to sit for a while um let it sit for about 10 minutes instead of just releasing the pressure and then we're going to slowly release the pressure for another 10 minutes so that it doesn't get tough um so i'll be back when it's done okay so now it's been about an hour and see it's so pretty i've got cabbage in there and underneath is there's the cooked potatoes and there's the corned beef and it should just fall apart look at that just comes apart so easily so i'm gonna uh pull this out with a slotted spoon and feed it to my husband because he's starving so i'm gonna get this going and if you like this video and try this recipe let me know if you'd like you know more information about um, not having a um, you know using a crock pot or a bag let me know um, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next week